Hey folks, uh, you may be wondering what's all this junk in front of me here. Well, uh, let's file this video under computer slash technology uh, helpful tips. So that's kind of the theme of this video. And what this is is really the parts from a Western Digital 400 gigabyte external USB um, drive. I have a previous video that I talk about this thing failing on me. Um, actually, I don't recommend this uh, brand for external drives. I know they're extremely popular. They're some of the cheapest ones out there. I see headlines and new versions of these all the time. But I've owned two, and they both have broken on me pretty quickly. I mean, right at about the year mark. Um, they had some uh, design or, or build quality problems as well. You know, buttons breaking off. Um, and then just outright failing. Um, so this was actually shelved for quite some time. You know, it had been broken for a while, and I just, just decided one day, all right, you know, it's off warranty. It's not, it hasn't worked, won't work for, for months, if not. It's probably going on six to eight months at this point on this one. Um, so there's, there's no loss if I just tear this thing apart, basically. So that's what I did to see if I could salvage the internal drive. And, and uh, so I'll get to what the results were here quickly. But what you need to do is basically, well, let me let me start backwards a little bit. The point of doing this in the first place is that the internal drives are exactly what you would buy uh, at, at Best Buy or any other electronic store to put inside your uh, normal computer. It turns it into an internal drive. It's same same size, three and a quarter drive, same connections. So in theory, as long as the drive is working, you can extract it out of this and put it directly into your computer if you have room for it. So that's that was what I attempted to do here. Um, it wasn't that hard to take all this apart. Um, took a little bit of time and I got to use my charge TTI multi-tool. So um, you have to get this plastic coating off of it first and I would just really use the flathead uh, screwdriver on here to pry it uh, and then uh, you know the pliers to pull. So once you get it started just kind of go you know around around it and wedge it off and pry it back. It has this extremely thick um, glue back here. I, I wouldn't uh, linger with this. I wouldn't necessarily touch it. It's probably some strong industrial chemical that isn't uh, great to uh, play with, so maybe even use gloves. Um, you never know what they put in computer products, right? Then you get to this shell, right? Uh, hopefully you can see it. This is really the case anyways. And same thing, it's locked in pretty tightly around the device like this. Get the, the your tool, your flathead screwdriver, whatever, in there, wedge it, pry it out, and slide it around, and then just pull it back. So you get this off, you're good there. Okay, and then it comes down to basically the unit itself. Um, I'm already u using the hard drive elsewhere, so it's not in here. It was flat against this. You can see all these parts. This part actually took the most time. You had to undo everything. Um, and the drive wouldn't release here. You had to basically undo this back casing and then the top casing here and basically slide it out. Undo the power connector. So you can see this is this, a standard hard drive power connector right here. This particular drive had a SATA, S-A-T-A, connection rather than uh, IDE. Okay, and uh, so pry this back part off, undo the the hard drive. Um, I was able to. I mean, you can see these screws; they're pretty small screws. So I have this uh, really cool. Uh, boxer tool set. Now it's for you know computer parts and knives, and there's a great deal of Torx bits here, 
and uh, regular screw heads and this thing's great isn't like nine bucks um, so pry it out and you're done basically and so the surprise of all this is given the age of the hard drive and just the outright breakage and never working of it um, I was I had you know very low hopes on this thing um, so I put it in an old computer it had available power and uh, SATA connectivity and what do you know without any troubleshooting challenges major reboots or anything it worked right away I have uh, 400 gigs added to my overall network at this point that uh, basically was you know a loss for eight nine months so pretty stoked about that I'm not getting any problems whatsoever with the drive it's very stable no errors so I th think what's going on is that something about the power the USB the circuitry of, of these external drives it's not designed well enough it's not stable I've tried it on multiple computers all with the same result but the drive appears to be working fine but something in this unit doesn't work so it's something with the build quality here I had uh, I've tried certainly tried multiple connections back here you have USB and you have uh, firewire so um, if you're in the same situation with me where you bought some of these Western digital external drives if you have room in your system uh, and they're off warranty you know they're broken not working for you pull the hard drives out um, I would say even if you don't have room in your systems anyways right now pull them out anyways before you throw them away one for just for data security right no one you don't want anyone to have your data you know old hard drive and two you may have room later so hopefully that's helpful um, I have actually another broken one of the same brand that uh, I'm going to see if it, the same steps uh, work as well. So hopefully that's helpful to people later.